Can you guess? Hmm? Can you guess the brewery? Hmm? Can ya? Hmm? What? Be going down, people of the world! Redbeard here, coming at you from his couch! Welcome back to another daily drink vlog for the beer and the glass of the today! We have got a can of American Pale Ale by the Red Line Brew House. Redbeard Pint. Oh yeah, this was actually tried a while ago. The first beer festival that Redbeard went to was the Huntsville Beer Festival, and they were there, and I got myself a hat. So I was looking forward to finally seeing this in the LCBO so I could wear the hat in a review kind of thing. Let's crack her open. Let's see what we've got. Oh, that's a that's a cloudy looking pale ale. Get some head on that. Come on now. Poor nice. Uh, we've definitely got some chunks. There is definitely some floaty stuff in the beer. I'm not sure if you're able to really see it. Yeah, you can kind of. Yeah, you can see. You can see little floaty. Th yeah, there it goes. Look at that floaty. <laughs> yeah, floaty. As always, all the thanks in the whole wide world. Those who watch my videos, the beard loves you all so very, very, very much. Almost forgot again. Oh my god, that has got some crazy, nice, tropical fruit kind of hoppy notes. Holy shite. Let's give this a shot. Oh, excited. Oh, wow. That is delicious pale ale. Absolutely fantastic, juicy kind of citrus flavors on the, on the, on the tongue. <laughs> I can't even talk. It's so good. Floaty things, no floaty things. I don't care. This is amazing. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Such an awesome, just hoppy blast in your mouth. And then it, it lingers around, but it's like, it's nice. The fruitiness is what kind of lingers around. This is wonderful. Oh, it's got like that really kind of nice refreshing quality to it. What a weird name for a, a beer. Clutch. But I guess the whole red line, everything is, you know, car kind of related. Hot rod culture type stuff. Clutch pours a hazy straw color and is topped with a creamy white head. A large dose of flaked oats provides a luscious and soft mouthfeel. Hopped generously with Centennial, Citra, Amarillo, and Mandarina Bavaria. Clutch bursts with flavors of orange peel, grapefruit, peaches, and pine. A load of dry hops are used at the end of fermentation for lush aromas <coughs> excuse me, of fresh tropical fruit, pine, and citrus. Soft and aggressive at the same time, Clutch is right where you want it. That's worded quite nicely. I like that. Uh, ingredients. Water, barley malt, flaked oats, hops, and yeast. And we've not got a date, which is it's another one of those damn blue dot cans, which means nothing. Date your shit. I have no idea if the sediment in here is typical of the beer, or if it's got sediment because it's kind of old. It'd be, it'd be nice to know. Regardless of the date, that's still good stuff. Today being September 15th, on this date in 1935, Nazi Germany adopted a new national flag with the swastika on it. Because they wanted to ruin it for everybody else in the world. Like, you can't, you can't use a swastika for anything, ever. No, because it, it means Nazis. 
Just like Hitler's mustache. That little mustache that he had? Nobody nobody in the world can really have that because it's it's just completely associated with him. He ruined it. He ruined it for everyone. Also on this date, 1958, a Central Railroad commuter train ran through an open drawbridge at Newark Bay in New Jersey and killed 48 people. Apparently the there were markers set up for the train to like know if the bridge was open or not, and it wasn't open, but the train was going too fast, and there was a thing to derail the train if it was going to go through the drawbridge or something, but the train was going too fast and derailed, but went right over the thing anyway, and yeah, 48 people died because somebody did not drive a goddamn train. In 1966, President Lyndon B. Johnson, responding to a sniper attack at the University of Texas, wrote a letter to Congress urging the enactment of gun control legislation. 1966. It's now 2016. Good job on your gun control, U.S. Great! And finally, in 1978, Muhammad Ali outpointed Leon Spinks in a rematch to become the first boxer to win the World Heavyweight title three times at the Superdome in New Orleans. Muhammad Ali, cheers to you. Redline Brewery, cheers to you as well. You made some good beer here. God damn it, I didn't realize you were in Barry Redline. I stopped through there and went to Barnstormer to pick up my glass and didn't go to Flying Monkeys because I'm a moron, but I didn't even realize you guys were there. I could have got, you got, there's this, there's a 501 something. What is that? Golden Ale, Czech Engine American Amber, Double Clutch, Double IPA. That would have been cool. Air Ride IPA and Cruise Control Mango Session IPA. I want to try more of your beers. Because <laughs> if this is an example of what you're doing, you're doing things well. Your website is awesome, Redline. There is the info on your beers and everything. I'm going to put, there's definitely, there's always a link down below in the box. So yeah, definitely check this out. Your glass. I'm up, if I can find a good picture of it, I'll put it here for like five, four, three, two, one. I want one of those. That looks awesome. Makes this look like a piece of garbage. Mmm. <sighs> I love this pale ale. You know what time it is. Time to burn out the clutch. Drink numbers are last. Give a little swish and get all that delicious scariness. <sighs> Fantastic to the last fucking drop. So, Redline Brewhouse, your clutch American pale ale rating. Very, very solid eight. Would have been a nine had you put a date on there. So, really good though. Hey, and that is going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then be sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you got something to say to me, then put some comments in the box down below. But thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. Peace out! Yes, brain burns my flesh, love and it feels just like death Cigarette and MJ bread, that description of me is the best I don't need to be so rude But the system put in place fucks you Don't let them put you in a box so let them Anybody from Redline that, you know, feels like dropping Red Beer a line To maybe help get some of those fantastic looking beers in his belly Message me, please.